Key points of R32 products. Introduction of R32. The Montreal Protocol regulates ozone-depleting HCFCs and calls for a complete phase-out of HCFCs by 2020 for developed states and by 2030 for developing states. R22 is the most used HCFC, which percentage is over 80%. Chlorine contained in HCFC will go out and have endless chemical reaction with ozone when it is at stratosphere and under ultraviolet radiation. This reaction will continue to deplete the ozone layer. Switch over to ozone-friendly HFCs like R410A is also in progress in many states. However, since HFCs are one of the greenhouse gases, GHG, contributing to global warming, they are a target of emission reduction in most developed states as per the Kyoto Protocol. A lot of greenhouse in the atmosphere will be like a transparent film covering the earth to avoid the heat to come out, which lead to rise of average temperature of the earth and will cause a disastrous rise of sea level. As an alternative to HCFC 22 in developing states and to introduce a refrigerant with less global warming potential, GWP, in developed states, R32 comes into this industry. R32 is difluoromethane, which molecule contains a carbon atom, two hydrogen atoms and two fluorine atoms. It will not deplete ozone because it is lack of chlorine and its GWP is about one-third of R410A, which make it more environment-friendly. Its pressure is a little higher than R410A. The only trouble is that R32 is slightly flammable, but it can only be ignited by open fire and it cannot even keep burning if the fire source is removed. Because its lower flammable is 13.3% and higher flammable level is 29.3%, which is much higher than common flammable gas like propane, which LFL and HFL are 2.1% and 9.5%. And its burning speed, 6.7 centimeters a second, is much lower than propane's 46.4 centimeters a second. Also, these experiments show us that R32 will never ignited by sparks of electrical parts or high voltage parts of air conditioner in common situation. So in general speaking, R32 is a relatively safe gas if it is treated in correct ways. Identify of R32 products. One, there are two warning labels on the packing box. One is fire risk and another is manual reading. Also, in the model number, N8 means this unit are using R32 refrigerant. Two, the two warning labels are also on both bodies of indoor and outdoor units. Three, there are fire risk labels on the rating labels on both indoor and outdoor units. Preparation. Before installation, measure area of the room. Make sure it is no smaller than the minimum usage area. Prepare necessary tools for installation. Particular leakage detector, vacuum pump, anti-static glove, fire extinguisher, and so on. The R32 gas cylinder should be stored in a cool place where the ventilation is good and there should be a caution sign of no fire. The technicians in charge of installation and maintenance shall be equipped with anti-static measures and wear pure cotton clothing if possible. Attention point of installation and maintenance environment. Make sure that there is always forced ventilation to guarantee the supply of fresh air and extraction of R32 out of the room to avoid concentration rise above the LFL. There should never be open fire at least two meters nearby. There should never be heat source or flame source, electrical heater, lighter or etc. at least two meters nearby. Never use the mobile phone within two meters around the unit. There should be no electrical appliance or power socket below the indoor unit. The power socket should be arranged at the side or higher positions than the unit. 
Put the probe of leakage detector inside the packing box of outdoor unit to check to make sure there is no leakage before unpack the outdoor unit. A vacuum pump must be used to do the air purging work. Extra refrigerant should be charged if the length of connection pipe is more than 5 meters. Charge amount should be strictly same as the specification showed. Use particular leak detector or soapy water to check if there is any leakage after opening the outdoor valve cores. If the air conditioner must be maintained using flame welding or cutting, it should be done in outdoor environment with good ventilation. Clear all the R32 gas out of the units with a reclaim machine. Flush the system with pure nitrogen. Vacuum work. Flush the system with pure nitrogen again. Start the flame work. Charge R32 back to the unit strictly as the amount showed on the outdoor rating label after maintenance. <laughs>